Congressional Democrats will introduce a legislation today that expands the size of the Supreme Court from 9 to 13 justices. KUSI legal analyst and expert Mr. Dan Eaton joins us now with more on the topic. Mr. Eaton, good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Paul. All right. I remember not so long ago, maybe a few months back, I asked you this very question. What would be the likelihood of uh, a new administration favoring, supporting, expanding the Supreme Court size? And you kind of said, now, you know, that's just we always talk about it. It never happens. Would you like to amend your answer, sir? Not at all. There are a couple of things about your question, Paul, which, as usual, is incisive and gets right to the issue. The first part of your question is the noun administration. The Biden administration has not weighed in on this. There was no question that Congress was going to try to do something. Jerry Nadler, the head of the House Judiciary Committee, and Senator Edward Markey of Massachusetts are both going to introduce this legislation to expand uh, the Supreme Court. And what I meant about there being slim to none is that this legislation isn't going anywhere. Let's be very clear. This is not going to be enacted, this uh, Judiciary Act of 2021, which is about to be introduced today. All right, so the, the way I understand it, and please, Dan, correct me, because uh, I, I don't want to say anything inaccurate, but there's a panel going to be formed to explore possible options to get to 13 Supreme Court justices. Names, very progressive names like Nadler are going to be part of this panel. Does, do they have any weight behind them as far as, as far as influence? I think you're talking about two different things. One is uh, the uh, congressional legislation, and the other is this 36-member uh, a study group that the uh, administration has formed to talk about uh, the debates surrounding the composition of the court and so on, and uh, w whether uh, there should be changes uh, in the court, such as term limits or expanding the uh, expanding the membership of the court. That's separate from the legislation, which will proceed along a legislative track. There are going to be hearings in the Judiciary Committee and maybe in the Senate Judiciary Committee as well. I don't see this legislation actually being enacted, for one thing, because it's not clear that a whole lot of Democrats, uh, or at least a majority of the Democrats, uh, even support this. And you can bet there's going to be united Republican opposition behind it. Well, for the for the d Democrats who do support it, they're, they're going to say, hey, they, they draw a moral equivalence between what well, uh, Merrick Garland and what happened with him uh, not being put up for nomination and then rushing uh, Justice Barrett through the system. They're going to say, hey, that that was the Republican equivalent of court packing. Why can't we add uh, add justices, you say? Well, uh, Justice Breyer in a recent speech at Harvard Law School said nothing that can undermine the public confidence in the Supreme Court as an independent and impartial arbiter of justice than a structural alteration of the court for perceived partisan purposes. And that's what you're looking at here. That's, uh, that is the problem uh, here. Look, what we are talking about here, what's motivating this is a perceived gap between what the Supreme Court is likely to do on the momentous issues on the one hand and the perceived popular view on this on the other hand. That's what happened in the other times uh, that you have seen talk about changes in the Supreme Court membership. You saw it in the, the Civil War, uh, in the African Civil War, when there was a, a change in the number of justices. You saw it in FDR's court packing plan, uh, where there, uh, the Supreme Court was dominated by conservatives, and he wanted to pack the court by replacing every justice over 70 with another justice up to 15. Uh, this is the same kind of thing that's going on, a gap between what at least the Democrats think is a progressive view of the country and the conservative tilt of the current Supreme Court membership. All right, so I'll just ask it one more time. In your view, uh, five years from now, will the Supreme Court justice number still be at nine? Nine. Dan Eaton. No question. Dan Eaton, um, your expertise, even at 637 in the morning, is always appreciated. Good to be with you, Paul. Have a great day, sir.